Okay guys, so I'm starting to work on the interior and um, I'm trying to, I, I don't want the interior to be like strikingly, like a lot of people do the inside of the models, the interiors are bright colors and stuff and this is not what I want for this. I want it to kind of match the outside of the ship the same way. So it's, um, it's not like standing out uh, on you. So I did do it the base color as I did everything else and I washed it the way I did. The only difference is I added a little more patina to it to bring out the details in it. And I'll show you this. So as we come closer, you can see the interior of the ship. And if you look close, you'll actually see the patina and it brings out the corners better, the detail and the panels better, that kind of thing. That was really important to me because these were really muted in the casting. They were tremendously muted in the casting. Um, I'll post a picture of what it looked like when I post this to YouTube in the notes area of what it looked like. And um, it was very similar to uh, the original coloring of everything, which was kind of a kind of a yellowish, tannish color. Um, but if you look really close, you can actually see the details of the paneling. And, of course, when we put the, the windshield over the top of it, and I'm going to backlight it green, a soft green, it's going to look kick-ass. It's going to look so cool. Now, I'm going to try to get a pit up underneath the, underneath the bottom of it. I don't know if I can for detail-wise, and I still can't. What I'll have to do is I'll have to get you guys a, um, a flashlight or something like that and just shine it on top. But this video basically is just about the interior. So if you look in there, you can actually see... The detail, the fine, minute detail of the um, of the uh, the interior itself. Um, let's get this little brush stroke out of here a little bit. Oh, hold on a second. We got just a little teeny bit of a brush here. Well, we'll just leave it there. I'll take it out later. But if you look really close, man, it looks super duper duper detailed. That is so muted in the casting, you can't see it. So washes are really important. To those of you who want me to do a paint uh, tutorial, I'm thinking of doing one because I'd really like to show you guys good technique to be able to bring out muted areas of your castings. I really feel bad for people who do such a nice job of casting whatever they're casting, but you can't see any of the detail because they don't know how to paint it in such a way to bring the detail out. And the other thing, too, is if you look at the panel, it doesn't look like, like plastic. It doesn't look like a model. It actually looks like a panel. So you could film with this. It looks like the interior of the ship. Um, I may dry brush a little more patina in there to bring out some other details. But overall, I'm really extremely happy with it. And uh, guys, if you want, you can kind of give me an idea um, what you think of it. I'm just kind of curious. Um, I don't think it's going to change my mind much, to be honest with you. But so you can see the panel right there. there there's it looks like there's just a ton of detail in that panel, and there isn't a casting, but they're not separate pieces. I didn't like build the panels and make them um, uh, uh, scratch built, but it looks scratch built. That's the trip of it, you know. Because and that's all about paintwork. That's all about bringing it out with the paintwork, you know. It's like those guys who do the uh, the model painting of, of the nude girls and stuff like that. They, they know how to bring out the contours and the highlights of the breasts and all those kind of things. Um, I'm not really into that kind of painting, but I can appreciate that kind of painting. You know, that has to do with, uh, with contours and highlights and shadows and that sort of thing. So let me know, guys, what you think of this. Um, I think it's coming out really nice, and I'm extremely happy with the quality of it. All right, well, ta-ta for now, and the next video, I promise, for those who have asked, will be on the bottom of the ship. I promise it'll be the bottom of the ship, okay? All right.